All right, guys, I stopped at the five bar just to see what was happening, and uh, I find out that my oil pump finally came in. And uh, here it is. Uh, this is an oil pump from Boundary. You can see uh, the part number there. Uh, this is an oil pump that is actually for a GT350. I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, so let's open up this box. Let me show you this oil pump. All right, well, this isn't an official unboxing, but because uh, I already took opened this up and took a look at it. But you can see um, here it says 5.2 GT. Uh, that would be a, a GT350 engine, a Voodoo engine. So uh, the Gen 3 shares the oil pump with the Voodoos, and uh, you can see right here is the biggest difference because the oil pan, um, you know, the pickup has this little slip on that just goes in there where the Gen 2 says, actually has something uh, that where the pickup bolts onto it. But uh, this is a, an oil pump from Boundary. It has, uh, you know, billet gears in it, and um, I elected to go with a new oil pump simply because the, you know, the old engine you know, uh, was scraping up on the cylinder walls. I thought some metal might have gotten into the old oil pump, so I didn't want to use that housing. But uh, so we got a new one, and here it is. And um, this is the one that's going in, guys. Looking pretty cool. Uh, you can see behind me, my engine is just about assembled. She's looking good. Let's turn the camera around. Let's take a close look. All right, guys, there it is. There's my motor. Tag is still on it. Pro Series 12 to 1. Uh, there's a stamping there. I believe that's something that Living Noise put on the short block. And there you have it. It's a uh, you know, Gen 3 Coyote. The heads have been put on. Uh, we did have them checked out. Um, they've been all cleaned up. And uh, we suspected there was nothing wrong with them, and there was nothing wrong with them. But uh, as you can see, all the timing chains have been put on. Uh, the phaser layout, you see, is a little different than a Gen 2. And uh, here you can see the uh, housing for the direct injection pump, you know, the high-pressure high, uh, high pressure fuel pump. Uh, one thing I didn't mention when the cams were out of the engine, uh, you can see the lobe on the cam that drives the high pressure fuel pump. But uh, just looking around the motor, I mean, you don't often get a chance to see this, so I'll just run some video of it, show you guys, you know, what uh, Gen 3 looks like. Really not that much different than the earlier Coyotes, but uh, subtle differences. That yeah, is what it looks like underneath the valve covers, not something that you see every day. And that's it. My new Gen 3. Yep, this uh, this baby's got forged internals. It's a plasma bore engine, but uh, should be able to handle up to a thousand horsepower. I doubt I'm going to make that much, but um, you know, should be able to handle just about anything I decide to do with it. So uh, we should have this engine in the car hopefully another week or so. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so here's the oil pan uh, that you see on a 2018. Uh, this is, you know, for the Gen 3 Coyote, my engine, and uh, as you can see, it's very different than what you'll see on a Gen 2. It's got the plastic pickup and uh, the windage tray. It's all one piece here. It's uh, very different. You can see it from the side. This is the plastic pan. There's that plastic, you know, oil plug that needs to be changed every once in a while. And then, yep, there you have it. That's what the inside of the oil pan looks like. 2018 Mustang. All right, guys. Well, there it is. There's my new motor. Uh, you know, Livinoy short block, forged internals. Uh, this thing should uh, should work out pretty good for me. So, uh, in about another week or so, we'll have the engine in the car, and uh, we'll be out on the streets and uh, testing out and see how it runs. So, stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next time. All right, everybody, we came out here to look at the house. And uh, there you can see she's coming along real good. And uh, we just happened to look into the water here, and guess what? There's the alligators again. Look at them. There's one there, right? I think that's the one that we've seen before. But then there's another one. We got two of them. You know, uh, I heard on the news that uh, it's mating season for the alligators. There might be something to this, but uh, yeah. Not one alligator, but two of them. Don't get too close. They're going to get you. Look at that, guys. Looks like he's got some place to go. <laughs> the other one took off. Maybe they don't play nice together. All right, everybody, look at this. 
<laughs> a family of birds. And honestly, I don't know what they are. But uh, they're following each other to the lake. Look at them. Is that adorable or what? <laughs> Whole family of them. What's happening everybody, Al here, uh, coming at you from the engine room here at Five Bar Motorsports. Uh, that's right guys, we're back in here. Uh, you can see behind me, uh, my engine is just about assembled. And uh, I, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about this, but let's turn the camera around. Let's take a, let's take a look, see what it looks like. <laughs> I just cannot talk today.